In today's video, I'm going to be giving myself a lobotomy. Langybox is a YouTube channel with just uh, with just under 32 million subscribers that specializes in what I can only call the epitome of internet goy slot. Now you might be screaming at your phone in public right now out of sheer frustration going, Derps, you absolute splooge blanket, you've used the term internet goy slop like three times now. What does that mean? Well... <laughs> I can't stop laughing at these videos. Even Ban Ban is laughing with us. <laughs> this is so hilarious. Guys, did you see that? I have an idea. What if we play a try not to laugh challenge? You got it, Ban Ban. This is the face of somebody whose divine light has been severed. It truly hurts to tell you this, but this little snippet is in fact representative of the entire channel. Every single one of their videos is like this. I'm not gonna waste your time showing you different clips or any number of their god-awful YouTube shorts that unsurprisingly make extensive overuse of copyrighted characters and intellectual properties, because I imagine you were probably able to pick up on that as soon as you woke up this morning. Instead, I figured we could all sit down and laugh at them together as a family. So today we're going to be watching Do Not call or do not watch amazing digital circus movie at 3 a.m evil pomni attacked us and with the title like that how could you not be excited so with all that being said let's all sit back relax grab your popcorn grab whatever it is you eat when you're boredom watch youtube and let's go ahead and watch this this crap do not watch the amazing digital circus movie at 3 a.m homie Dog, we are not even five seconds into the video, and already I feel like this is the stimulatory equivalent of an Obama administration drone strike in the Middle East. Like, I swear to God, all of my senses are being completely and utterly assaulted with, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I really don't have any words for this. This is just so overstimulating, it's almost painful. Like, I almost feel my head beginning to hurt from looking at it. Not to mention, the animation is just so terrible. Like, these guys got basic tutorials on how to use Adobe Premiere and After Effects, merged those two skills together that they just learned, and started using it to create a bunch of this. Not to mention Evil Pomni. Don't watch it at 3 a.m. Dude, 3 a.m. challenges died years ago, I swear to god. I didn't know people were still doing these. Do people still do these? Like, or is Leggybox the only one? I didn't know people still watched this. Today, Leggybox is watching the new Amazing Digital Circus movie at 3 a.m. Okay, uh, spoiler alert for those of you in the back of the classroom. There is no Amazing Digital Circus movie. There's not even a second episode. We are currently only with the pilot, which was really good, by the way, and I do recommend you go give it a watch if you're into indie animation but the fact of the matter is this video is just going to get absolutely nuts to butts crazy we're about to see some of the wildest stuff we've ever seen in our lives we're not going to be sleeping tonight boys this video i'm making right now is going to be on the front and cover of r slash no sleep this is terrifying the things do not go the way we expected this is one of our craziest videos of all time where justin gets super scared watching the amazing digital circus movie at 3 a.m because he gets attacked by evil pomni.exe bringing back the use of the not exe creepypasta i see i didn't think people still cared about exe creepypastas let alone that they were relevant at all anymore because as you go back and look at things like sonic.exe and whatever sonic.exe was actually pretty trash it was a terrible horror story a terrible creepypasta all around and it spawned one of the cringiest fan bases in history anyway real talk again number one i did not know people still watch this kind of content let alone make 3am content number two for the love of god we're not even 10 seconds into the video and I've already got three and a half minutes worth of commentary. What is this, bro? I'm gonna try and like not interrupt the video too much, but it might be a little hard because things are about to get nuts. This video has some of the most insane Lanky Box moments of all time. Prime. Cool. Including <laughs> <laughs> the part where Justin kicks a giant hole in the wall of their house. Oh my god, guys. Oh, he, he puts a hole in his wall. <laughs> Nobody tell anyone I did that. You cannot miss this video. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> oh, guys, today we are going to have a Pomni movie party at 3 a.m. Guys, our mom got us these awesome costumes. She found these in a dumpster and said we could have them. I'm dressed up as Kane from the Amazing Digital Circus. Adam is dressed up as Pomni, guys. And we're okay, so quick question for the two of you running Lanky Box, if you ever see this video. Um, 
How much did they pay for your soul? I, I want to know because I can't imagine ever selling my soul for any amount of money. N not for this, not for anything else. This is just yucky. And yes, I understand that your target demographic is children, but you're also targeting children with really predatory practices that you would also see in things like Call of Duty or, you know, any modern AAA title. It is just goy slop and very harmful goy slop at that. This isn't your skibbity toilet where it's cringe, but at the end of the day just kids having fun this is overstimulation it's straight up murdering attention spans and also it's just fucking annoying okay like realistically you guys are clearly older than me i'm 22 right you guys maybe you're my age i don't know but why even i wouldn't stoop this low for content dude i barely make like a hundred views on most videos period but i still would never ever stoop to this level just to increase that number because you know what that would make me a sellout and also a loser. And I don't like being either of those things. So I don't do that. You guys could have done something else. You could have made regular gameplay videos. You could have become commentary YouTubers. You could have become like, like, and not douche tuber vloggers, but like vloggers. But instead you became whatever the hell this is supposed to be. I swear, I will never begin to understand what goes through some content creators heads. Like, Ugh. We're gonna hang out and watch the amazing Digital Circus movie at 3 a.m. Our mom does not know we're doing this. It's about to be awesome. We got all these snacks. Yo! This is so cool. We got, we got Prime, boy. Prime? Huh. <laughs> Prime is for turbo virgins. Real men drink Everclear. Oh! <laughs> no cap, no cap, no cap. Uh, but no the cap Prime has a cap. Oh, got, got to throw in that no cap. No cap, guys. Honestly, I don't think we're going to make it through the entire 20 minutes. We are a minute and 15 seconds in. I've got six and a half minutes of commentary. I swear to God, there is so much to talk about and so much to make fun of. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit their whole 20 minute movie night into this video because then this video would be like three hours long. They're sitting here plugging Prime like, yo, Prime, like Prime sucks dick, dude. Like the blue flavor is all right, but I haven't gone out of my way to drink it in a while, honestly, because I found out there's coconut water in it and coconut water is gay. You know who else is gay? Anybody that isn't subscribed to the Derps Classic YouTube channel. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. Anyway, the fact that this video was so short, dude, I mean, seven minutes isn't really short, but I didn't even cover like a 10th of their original video. That is how terrible this is. That is how overstimulating and painful it is to watch this. Regardless though, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to go watch one of these videos for yourself and make fun of it, go ahead because quite frankly, <laughs> I don't think I ever want to look at this YouTube channel again. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to join the Discord server, the link is in the description down below where you can talk to me and plenty of other people who watch my videos or just other people in general. And with that all being said, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.